Baskerville is the retelling of The Hound of the Baskervilles, Sir Arthur Conan Doyle's mystery novel, with only five actors to play the myriad of characters we have in the show. On top of being a really compelling mystery and drama, we have all the wonderful farce and comedy and humor you've come to expect from the Oregon Cabaret Theater. It's Mr. Ames in the Dear Doctor! I will never forget what you gentlemen did for us. We'd have no business left! My primary character is Sir Henry Baskerville. He's just inherited a lot of money because his uncle Charles died under mysterious circumstances. So he's showing up not knowing if that same threat is going to endanger him. He's also not expecting certain romantic involvements that develop. Sir Henry is from Texas. He's kind of a good old boy. He's, you know, from America. He's really just wide-eyed and excited and exuberant. And when he meets the sort of murky British proper skepticism, he's kind of out of place in a very fun way. Please and eyes the breeze fire. Hell, I got hounds back home that would eat him for breakfast and spit out the bones. I also play Lestrade, who's a brutish, uncouth Scotland Yard officer who is making everyone uncomfortable any time he possibly can. They're involving some bleeding bastard and his naked mistresses! <laughs> Uh, this is my third year at the Oregon Cabaret Theater. My first time here uh, was three years ago when Rick and Val took over the cabaret and I did Musical of Musicals, the musical. I was back here last fall to do three shows. I did Bat Boy, Rocky Horror, which we're remounting this fall, gold shorts and all. And I was here for the world premiere of Pine Mountain Lodge last Christmas. And I'll be sticking around this year doing She Loves Me later on. <laughs> One of the first things I did in preparing for the show was to read Sir Arthur Conan Doyle's novel. And I did it reading it almost side by side with the script so I could see what changes have been made, what things are different, and also the things that have been lifted directly from the text and put into our show, which is a lot of fun. Sir Arthur Conan Doyle has a really fantastic way of, of wordsmithing, of using language to describe and paint pictures. And that is so true to the story that we have now. Uh, I'm a very physical actor, so whenever I'm creating a new character, of which I have, I think, six or seven in the show, I like to see where that character lives, why they stand the way they stand, if they have any sort of physical tics. Yeah. Ambush, I like the sound of that. We have a set by one of my favorite set designers, Deanne Kennedy, who's come all the way from Hawaii, and it is a cabinet of curiosities. And as we go throughout the show, it unfolds and moves around like a puzzle box or like a poly pocket set. And we keep exploring and finding new things so that the set itself is transforming and helping us to create a train station, carriages, the swamps of the moors, a stone hut on a cliff. And we play and run around this thing like a jungle gym. So I loved, even in the process of rehearsing, playing with and creating all these different new ways we could use and turn and twist and pull this set to help tell the story. Hope you come out and see Baskerville at the Oregon Cabaret Theater, and you can get tickets at OregonCabaret.com.